Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and it's that time of the month where I share with you guys 10 awesome apps that I believe you must have on your iPhone during this month. And we're starting things off with an extension for Safari. Now, I still believe that Safari extensions are actually one of the most underrated features of iOS. Just look at how cool this extension is. It is called Close My Tabs. So whenever you have a bunch of tabs open on Safari, all you have to do is tap the icon right there and then you will have clean my tabs. If I tap on it, it will show me all the tabs that I have open. Now, if I just don't want to have these tabs open here, I want to close them, but still save them. I can do that. I can select here which of these tabs I want to close on Safari, but they will be saved on the app. So I tap right here and now I'm good to go. So when I go into the app, there I have all the tabs that I have actually cleaned from Safari and they're actually saved here. So I can go ahead and open any one of them from here on Safari. I can share them or delete them if I want to remove them from the app. Next up is an app called Drain. Now this is a battery app that allows you to take a look at the battery percentage on your iPhone, but other devices as well. All the devices that you have with your Apple ID, all you have to do is just go ahead and install the app on those devices. Once you open the app on those devices, you will be able to actually see right here the, the battery percentage for all of the devices. You can of course go ahead and filter them from here with battery level and of course type of the device right here. And then you will also be able to add the widgets for this app which actually are pretty cool and will let you know the battery percentages for all of your devices directly from the home screen. Next up is ChatGPT. I know this is not a new app, but it has recently been updated with a new version 4.0 and it is just amazing. Now you can use ChatGPT now for free, but it's actually very limited. So you will still have to pay the premium subscription if you actually want to have full access to all the features. Now this is the new ChatGPT you will have here, like the speaking mode here where you can actually have a conversation and ask anything you want. You can even replace Siri with this. I did a video on that and it's pretty amazing. And you will have here the ability to upload any of your pictures, maybe files or anything you want from the camera. Just send it from here and you can ask ChatGPT anything you want regarding any of your files. Next up is AI Photo Eraser. Now this app allows to just erase objects from your pictures. Whenever you have taken maybe a picture, but you have something there that you don't like, you want to remove it, then this app will do it for you. Just make sure you upload the video or actually the picture from the camera roll and then tap right here. Once you have done that, you can zoom in and out here to have a better look at the object you want to remove. Then go to the brush here and just select the object you want to remove as easy as that. And then tap the go button. Wait here for the results. And as you can see right here, the results are actually amazing. It does a great job. Now you can tap here if it didn't do a great job initially and you want to do it again. You can just tap that button. Once you're done, you tap the button there. And from here, you will be able to just simply go ahead and save this under the camera roll. Next up is Toolbox. Now, this is a pretty cool app to have. It is free and it offers a bunch of different tools that you can use daily on your iPhone. Very simple things like maybe a coin flip right here. You can just go ahead and do a coin flip, random emoji, dice roll, random number, and then you will have the utilities right here. So you can copy any symbol you might want to use directly from here. You will be able to calculate the tips then you will be able to actually count anything you want here. You will have also a build splitter and average calculator. And you can convert things like distance, temperature, volume, area, weight directly from here. Again, very simple to use, yet it offers a very like different tools that you can actually maybe use on a daily basis on your iPhone to perform a lot of different tasks. Next up is Business Card Maker. Now, this is a pretty cool app that allows to easily create a business card for yourself. You will have a bunch of different designs right here, which you can choose from. All you have to do here is choose the one you want, tap on create, and then from here, you will be able to add your info. You can add your name right here, 
and you will have all of your data, your job title, your phone, your email, your address, and your website as well. You can also add a logo from here and also a QR code. So if you tap on logo, you upload a picture from your camera roll. So as easy as that, you can actually resize this and add it to, to your business card. You can see how easy that is. And then you will have the QR code as well, where you can paste your link here. And then of course, from that card, anyone with a camera can scan that code, which is really easy. So just like that, you will have actually created your own business card. You can see how it looks. You can save it as a PDF file, or you can save it to your photos library. The next app for the video is called My Links. This allows you to organize your links, save them all in one place, and they will all be categorized. You will have different filters there for your links. You will even have a search bar where you can search for any of your links, which is super useful. Now to add a link, simply tap the plus button right there. You can add it manually or you can just paste it. Now, whether that be a website maybe or any like Instagram post or Facebook post, YouTube video, whatever you're doing, you can actually go ahead and add them. And they again will be categorized automatically. So it's much, much easier for you to actually find them. And you can see right here, you can even set a reminder for any of your links to actually remind you to take a look at that link. So if I just go ahead, set a reminder here, save it at a certain time and date, the app will automatically send me a notification to actually remind me to view that link on a certain date and of course, certain time. True AI is the next app for the video. It brings AI wallpapers to your iPhone. So this is the home screen right there at the top. You will see like a featured wallpaper. We can also remix that. So you can see right here, we can just go ahead choose that and we can create a new wallpaper as easy as that it's pretty cool of course ai is just amazing it will take a few seconds here to actually create your wallpaper once it's done you can of course go ahead and download it to your device from here so let's just go back and see the like the different collections that we have here uh, there is the wallpaper it did create it you can see how cool that is and then we have here like different wallpapers that we can browse you can see all kinds of like different wallpapers we have here different categories we can take a look at of course change between different categories from here again once you find a wallpaper that you like you can just go ahead tap the download button or if you want to you can actually just save it under the favorites so you will find it on the app easier so a lot of very cool wallpapers of course all of them will be very high quality and of course make your device look pretty cool Audio Editor is the next app for the video. It allows to edit your audio files, whether that be a voice recording or maybe any audio files that you have saved on the files app. You will have a few different options right here, audio editing, audio cutting, video to audio, audio conversation, and also audio mixing. So if we go here, we can just go ahead and go to our imported audio. And then we have the basically the files that we have imported from the files app. Anytime you want to import a new file, you just tap right here. You want to edit one of these, you just select them, tap the next button, and they will have cut, split, fade. This You can change the speed, of course, the volume as well. You can move around here on the timeline and you can just go ahead, add all, all other files. Like if you want to add another file, you can do it from there. You can zoom in and out. So it basically gives you all the tools that you need to edit any audio file directly from your iPhone. And last but not least is Trip Tunes. This is a pretty cool app to have on your iPhone. Anytime you want to have a trip from one place to another, you can just go ahead and create a mix here. So you tap right there, you can choose from where you're starting, where you're going, and then you can just go ahead and choose basically what you want to have here. Any genre of music, any like, add here anything you want like the vibe or the trip type here just add basically every anything you want and then just tap on create playlist and this will create your playlist automatically you can see how cool that is you will have all the songs there all the titles that you need and it actually looks pretty cool with this vintage look so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and the apps if you want to download any of these apps make sure to check out the pinned comment all the links will be there. Again, thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one.